Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family, and thank you for stopping by the house. We're going to be talking about Norman and uh, Suzanne from the Wendy Williams show on their last taping of the Wendy Williams show, uh, TMZ got a chance to interview both Norman and Suzanne, but not really Suzanne. But we're going to be talking about Norman. He stepped out in front of the crowd or whatnot. They had their last taping of the Wendy Williams show. We know when, back when, back when, okay? <laughs> but he was so funny. He didn't expect to have a fanfare out there waiting. And especially not a fanfare of uh, reporters, uh, TMC. You know, they are already out there. And everybody's city and state, okay? <clears throat> because they need to know where the news is so they can report it to the masses, okay? But, uh, yeah, <clears throat> they were talking about Wendy Williams and the Wendy Williams show and it being canceled and they're ushering in Sherry Shepard <clears throat> and how did... They feel about her and all that kind of stuff. And Norman kind of felt like he got put on the spot. And he was trying to drop some true gems of what's, uh, what, for what us, uh, for us to look forward to when it came to the new show with Sherry Shepard. And I put that in there about believing in yourself and stop and smell the roses, even though we know they are tulips that I provided for you all. But I love tulips, tulips better than I do roses, okay? Because <clears throat> in my words of outcast, they said, Roses smell like boo 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 boo. Okay, but uh, <clears throat> we know how Whitney skyrocketed to fame in the gossip column, and she really didn't have. But you see that one eye symbolism. We know who she supports and she gets down with. Okay, so she had to make it do what she does made it do. Okay, if that makes sense. But uh, anyway, we know what Wendy is uh being portrayed as now, and y'all see some of the uh really bad pictures of her and <clears throat> it has been speculation allegedly you know she's back on the ooh wee she's back on the uh you know the white horse she's back on the uh drinking of alcohol a a a alcohol okay they shot her up she was a complete fan favorite she got a little hollywood star on hollywood walk of fame and then they making her look like shit Okay, so as you go up, you need to pay attention to the people you're surpassing because you might see them in that same spot or higher than you as you fall down. So see, that's what we got left of the ideal look of someone that was famous in the gossip circle. They got her all out here looking like all kinds of foolishness, okay? <clears throat> but anyway, um, I just want you all to hear a little bit. Uh, yeah, you see how they got her fuckery? You know how they say fuckery Fridays? fuckery every day. That's what they got her looking like. She's looking foolish. She's looking fuckery. She's looking fraudulent and she's looking much, very much so fakery. Alright, and TMZ, they know they wrong to interview this lady. But this is the article we're going to be talking about. Norman being introduced to the public as Norman Baker, okay? As one of the successors from the failing show of Whitney Williams. And this is pretty much what he has to say. Oh, let me see. Let's cut that out. Oh, All right, see, but before we do that, oh, kindly subscribe to our channel. On. Please click on the notification button. Hold on, guys. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, my God, it's so bittersweet. I'm so sad, but also so happy that I'm moving on to Sherry. But Wendy was the best. I will miss her so much. I'm like, I'm gonna really miss working with her. Have you spoken to her recently? Um, no, I actually haven't. I haven't spoken to her, but uh, I'm sure she's doing well. Wait, wait, quick question. Norman, no, she ain't doing well. Was she invited to actually? I actually don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea who's gonna be there. I just know I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna be tipsy. That's all I, know. Uh, I know that. One more question. Uh, when can we see Chevy? It's gonna be live, right? Oh uh, yeah, it'll be live September 
Okay, and then I had watched someone else who had actually got the coverage of Miss Suzanne. And Miss Suzanne, uh, was a boss or base? She wasn't hearing that shit. She was like, no, I ain't finna make no comments. No way, no how. She got the yellow on out of there. I was like, look at hey, her. Your dry skin. But, uh, let me see. You actually, oop, no more bad. Oh, can't call. Okay. Um, she uh, was interviewed as she was coming out the door, and she just simply just waved her hands. She that's her. She was waving her hands. They asked for comment, and she said no. <laughs> and I don't know if that's Suzanne or not. Or something is saying that I think it is Suzanne. She got that mess on the back of her um uh, uh back. Um, but I'm not really sure. So don't hold me. Um. To that point of reference. But yeah, honey, they got rid of Norman. Norman had said what he had to say very kind to the uh, particular uh, interviewer that was there uh, for TMZ reporting. And <laughs> Suzanne gonna come out the door when well, she was probably waiting for Norman to finish up. And she's like, I know how this publicity shit go. Y'all ain't finna catch me in nothing. Y'all not gonna use my likeness, my voice, anything talking about Wendy Williams. Nope, I'm not going to do it. So when the lady said, can we get a little statement from you? She said, nope. <laughs> she went on across the street with her friend, the guy friend she was with. I don't know if he was her bodyguard or what. But she got on away from them uh, the crowd of people. She's like, I'm not going to be like Norman. I'm a little older than him, and I know how this shit go. You ain't going to get me on saying nothing to about nobody, about Sherry or Wendy, none of that. And she got on, she hustled on across that street and went on about her business. And I was like, that was very rude. But, hey, if she know the game, she knows it better than I do. All right, but that's all I had to report about this particular video. I, I found it very amusing that they, well, they, you know, TMZ, they like to get out there and get in and every kind of story, whether it's good or whether it's bad. The only thing I feel about uh, Ms. Sherry Shepard is I don't really want her to get caught up into that circle where she don't do what they ask her to do. She's going to be on a downward spiral as well. Uh, and it's nice that Sherry kept uh, Suzanne and she kept Norman, which that was her footstool until uh, they can give her pointers on when Wendy had went through this particular situation. They can help her out with it on how she resolved the issue, you know, working for the business and being there every day taping and the mundane things that you have to repetitively do. And, you know, because you can start a certain thing. That's even with professional degrees as well. You can sit there and start it. You could be in it for 12 to 15 to 18 years. And then you'd be like, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, and most professionals, they go back, get another degree and work in the field that was secondary to their first choice of working in. Uh, and then they can do something totally out of character for them and, and, and get that experience and move on forward in that reign of uh, working uh, for the money. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I said, well, you know, hey, Norm is going where the money at. And he is very, what do you call it, personable. But he can do that. And if Sherry, or uh, the people that own the Sherry Shepherd show, which probably Delmar Mercury, you know, they're going to like, okay, you can have these people. We're going to give them a little raise here and there. And they're going to support you in your endeavors. But we need you to come in, Shepherd, and well, rock things up and then put it or spin it how you think you can. But we're going to give you the tools. You're going to have the same format as Wendy. You can tweak it here and there, but we need to have these things, you know, done. And we need to have this outlook accomplished, okay? So, I mean, I don't know. Just as long as Sherry don't come out and being 